I don't think that oil independence is possible so long as we use oil. I think what many people think of oil independence being is that we produced all of the oil that we consumed. But the fact is, we're dependent on a price that is set in the world oil market. World, the oil is a fungible commodity with a single price everywhere in the world, with most, most of the difference is a function of distance and the quality. And it's the volatility in that price that creates the economic insecurity, which is also the basis of our national security and foreign policy issues that are a function of our dependence on oil. We've chosen to promote a path of electrification Electrification allows us to rely on a diverse set of fuels which are produced domestically, whose price is not particularly volatile, that is more efficient than oil, and has a better emissions profile than oil that will continue to improve over time. We think that so long as we're using oil, we're going to be dependent on it, and the best path is to look for an alternative. Of course, it depends what you mean by oil independence. Uh, does it mean that we'll never have oil imports? or in our lifetimes, the answer is uh, no, we'll always have to be importing oil until we switch entirely out of oil as a fuel. But there are, of course, ways we can reduce our uh, dependence on oil, such as, uh, as an economist, this won't come as any surprise, but as a, um, an oil tax, raising the price of oil, this uh, operates, this tax operates on all margins. It changes behavior. Uh, people will drive less. It changes uh, innovation incentives. People with a good idea can um, find ways of reducing uh, oil use and oil intensity. Um, and uh, it encourages people to buy more fuel efficient vehicles.